Yo, what's going on guys? This is Anthony with TheMovieBlog.com and I'm back. I'm back, I'm back with a new video. This time we're gonna do one on Frog Thor. Frog Thor. You remember that line during Thor Ragnarok when Loki teased Thor about turning him into a frog? Let me present to you the story of Throg. Frog of Thunder. Prince of Asgard. Kinda. The comic origin was the inspiration for this line, but what actually happened in the comics was a little different. Loki actually turns Thor into a frog in the comics back in Thor number 363 by art artist writer Walt Simonson. Um, this happened at the end of the issue actually when Thor was randomly kissed by a hypnotized woman. So Thor gets turned into a frog and I don't know what you know about comics back then, but the creators back then weren't afraid to get weird. Like seriously. Thor stumbles across a secret war between the frogs and the rats of Central Park and decides to get involved. Thor helps these frogs in their war and the rats are downright nasty and they don't fight fair. The rats decided to dump rat poison into the frogs reservoir and end things once and for all. Throg actually realizes that things are getting out of hand and he's going to need help. Again, this is one of those Marvel stories where they test the boundaries of what level of weirdness is acceptable, and he instead travels to the sewer systems of New York City where he finds a colony of alligators living beneath New York City streets. Now, I know a lot of people have heard those folk tales of like alligators living in the sewers of New York City. They're not real. I don't think they're real anyway. But hey, comics, right? While in the sewer system, Throg discovers that the alligators have actually been taken control of by a mutant by the name of the Pied Piper. The Pied Piper actually is able to control these alligators. He actually controls and enchants Thor for a little while. But here's the weird thing. I don't think I've ever heard of this mutant before, but he sounds kind of interesting. I'd like to see him come back. I hope he's somewhere on Krakoa, like partying it up, controlling amphibians, being the cool guy in the back. That would be kind of cool to see. Anyway, Thor overcomes this foe. He uses the alligators to help him in the war and the alligators mostly devour and eat most of the rats that were on the opposing side of this war. They picked the wrong side, clearly. After all of that, Thor decides now might be a good time to look for that magical hammer of his that just enhances his abilities. You know, maybe now. Let's go look for Mjolnir. He finds Mjolnir, he's lifting it up, and he finds out that it doesn't turn him back into his human form. It doesn't break Loki's spell. Instead, what it actually does is it just turns him into like a seven foot tall Thor frog wearing his guardian armor. After returning home, the frog of thunder decided to put an end to this BS, kinda like he did in Thor Ragnarok and demands that Loki break the spell, Loki decides to, surprise surprise, betray his trust and instead tries to turn Thor completely animalistic. Now this backfires because this new Thor running purely on animal instinct nearly kills Loki until he finally gives in and turns Thor back to normal. And that's how that wonderful story ends of Thor himself turning into a frog and wielding Mjolnir as the frog of thunder. That's not the only tale that we have of Throg though, there's actually a completely different character that we probably see more of by the name of Simon Walterson. Great play on Walt Simonson's name. And this guy is just a guy who played college football for Mississippi State University, but he suffers like a career ending injury. He tries to continue on in his life. He finds happiness with his wife and they do charity work. But Simon suffers another devastating setback with the sudden death of his wife and his unborn child. Simon desperately tries to find a psychic or a person capable of talking to the dead to allow him one last conversation with his wife to just get some closure. He finds a witch who is able to help him talk to his wife and after he communicates with her, he didn't have anything to actually pay this witch. Now I don't know about you if you've ever seen stories or movies with witches and then you they do you a favor and you don't pay them back, things don't usually go well. You don't want to owe a witch money. This witch decides to take her anger out on him for not getting paid and curses Simon into becoming a frog. Now here's where things come back full circle and get interesting. Simon, now living as a frog, decided to change his identity and start his new life as an amphibian by the name of Puddle Gulp. Now the cool thing is that Puddle Gulp actually helped during that great frog war with the rats. He befriended Thor during the war but is kind of left behind after Thor finds Mjolnir and leaves for Asgard. Before Thor leaves though, somehow Thor's trusty goat tooth gnasher was somehow able to stomp on Mjolnir and a sliver of the hammer broke off. Now this shouldn't happen. 
this should not happen uru metal is one of the strongest metals in the marvel universe it's up there and it's taken strikes from wolverine's adamantium claws no way this goat should be able to just smack a piece off but hey comics right after thor leaves puddle gulp actually lifts the sliver of mjolnir which now will be called frog mjolnir and transform into throg frog of thunder now this version of throg goes on to have some more appearances in the pet avengers and as guardians of the galaxy but he's mostly a side character, he doesn't actually lead his own stories or anything like that, but he's still super fun knowing that there's a completely different Thor running around that's actually a frog. Anyway, let me know what you think of this story in the comments. Is this something that you guys want to see Marvel like translate into film or television, some more th stories of Throg? I mean, we have some in animated, but maybe live action. Thank you guys for sticking around and do me a favor. If you like this video, please, 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 please hit that like button. Hit it, please hit that like button. And if you're new here and you want to see more videos from me, make sure that you subscribe. That's all I got for now. I'm going to check you guys later. Peace.